Recognise them. For the wee ones, I have to see their numbers to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when it gets older and you recognise them, it's a lot easier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm Kevin, by the way. Kevin, how are you? Well done. Thanks, course. Thank you. Yeah. Enjoy yeah. running around. It's great social media. Fair play to you. The lads, the lads, they're brilliant. I've been fair enough. Yeah. Can I, can I get James through there to get to the other field? Is that because if I go to here, I'll never get down. Uh, so you've got straight through the crossing point and keep right. And you've got to spread out, but you're actually better that goes down there and you can go right. You have to go the right side to get down, is that yeah. what you're looking for? Yes, yeah, so you'll never, if I, I, if I can't get them here, I'll never get to the leaders yeah. again, if you know what I mean. No, if you go down there, the gates go down the bottom. It's, it's, it's going, going out, out on the left. Okay, so if I get down there. No, I wouldn't go down the left. Okay, so if you get down that side, I'll get down before them. I'll get down before them. I'll get down before them. I'll get down here and come spread out. Okay, yeah, dead on. Thanks a million. Right. So just a couple of minutes now to the start of our first race of the day. The girls under 11, 1,500 metres. So always a wonderful sight. Looking at these athletes making their way up. Quite a testy start. Nice uphill for them. And then they'll get a decent downhill for a while and then a really, really tough finish in muddy conditions. So these girls need every bit of encouragement the whole way around. Less than a minute now to go. Yeah. Call to the marks and they're away. So we're away with our first event of the day, the girls under 11, 1500 metres. So they'll come up this very wide start and then a sharp swing left. So they'll all make their way over towards the right hand side. So very different di conditions to Rossa Penna two weeks ago, but great cross country course here. And Chloe Bell from Mullingar Harriers right there as well from Kayla Coyne Bohemian. So the athletes start to swing left here and then make their way down the hill. So all eyes will be on Mary Jane Casey from local club St. Catharines. So the leader's now nearly at the bottom of the first field.
So Chloe Bell from Mullingar Harriers is right there. Roxanne Sands from Moy Valley. Finn Valley's Molly Gallagher. So they set all the way down, long run downhill, and then that really tough uphill to the finish, about 500 meters. Well, it looks like Chloe Bell from Mullingar Harriers in the lead. Maybe Sinead Fitzpatrick from St. Davins, maybe in third place there. But there's still maybe six of them in that leading group. So the leaders in very, very close to the bottom of the 1500 meter loop. They're going to swing left now very shortly. So it's Alva Fanukin from Temple Oak. She leads out Roxanne Sands from Moy Valley. And the two of them are just beginning to pull away a little bit. So now they're going to start this long swing up to the finish. So it was Alva Fanukin from Temple Ogan, Bevan Sands, and they're still side by side. Alva Fanukin just with a slight lead. So they're going to come back into this long, straight up into the finish. So we can hear the crowd beginning to shout up this home straight. It's a long, long run into the finish. And here they come, the two of them battling it out. Alva Fanukin from Temple Oak. Roxanne Sands. Roxanne Sa Sands right side by side, the two of them. Go, Go, what a finish we have here. Roxanne kicks, but Bevan go Alva goes after it, and Alva Fanukin still with the lead. But Roxanne Sands coming back at her. What a finish for our first race of the day. Sinead Fitzpatrick and Evans having a great run in third. But it's Alva Fanukin just holds on to take that from Roxanne Sands. Kayla Coyne from Bohemian just coming in behind Chloe Bell from Mullingar Harriers. Mary Jane Casey from St. Catharines will be very close to the top 12.
So great effort by all these girls here. What a tough finish this course is. Many of them are in the first national championships. Really mucky, really hilly. Streams of athletes coming through the finish area now. So still plenty of athletes out in the course. As we start to get ready for the boys under 11. Our Leinster champion is Daniel Green from Goran. Our Dublin champion is Senan Kelly from Metro St. Bridget. Our Connacht champion from Moy Valley is Daniel Gallagher. Dylan O'Reilly from Shercock is our Ulster champion. And Dylan Keane from Ennis Track is the Munster champion. So our first race of the day was the girls under 11, 1500 metres. And we're going to make the presentation now. Making the presentation, Esther Fitzpatrick of the Juvenile Committee. So in 12th place, so Freya Sweeney of Castle Bar Athletic Club. And there's going to be a big local cheer now. In 11th place, Mary Jane Casey of St. Catherine's Athletic Club. In 10th place, Lauren Hanrahan of Castle Bar Athletic Club. In 9th place, Grace Foley of Sligo. In 7th place, from Bohermean Athletic Club, Kate Co Kayla Coyne. And making the top six presentations, John Cronin, President of Athletics Ireland. In sixth place, Alva Riley of Dunboyne Athletic Club. In fifth place, Chloe Bell of Mullingar Harriers. In fourth place, Alva O'Neill of Ennis Track Athletic Club. In third place, Sinead Fitzpatrick of St. Albans Athletic Club. In second place, Roxanne Sands of Moy Valley Athletic Club. And the 2022 Girls Under 11 Cross Country Champion is Alva Finucan of Temple Oak Athletic Club. So as that presentation gets underway up, and you can see this stream right over to the left-hand side. And Darren Maloney from Corsi AC in Munster right up with the leaders. So Dylan O'Reilly from Shercock leads them out. And Carl Walsh from Carrick Navarre right with him.
So as they set off into that second field, well done. Still plenty of athletes making their way into the second field. Our leaders are beginning to swing right now. So Carl Walsh, right there, Daniel Gallagher from My Valley. Dara Maloney from Corsi. So the leaders making their way down the hill. It looks like Daniel Gallagher from My Valley has made his kick for home. He's six or seven metres. Sending Kelly, it looks like, from Metro St. Bridget in about fourth place. But it's Daniel Gallagher leads them out. Darren Maloney from Corsi in second place. Shercox, Dylan O'Reilly then just on his shoulder. So now... The long run uphill starts. And it's still Daniel Gallagher. And he's opened up a really big lead here. And he looks to be really full of running here. Dara Maloney from Corsi in second place. But a pretty bunch from second to fifth or sixth. But no denying who's the big lead here. Daniel Gallagher from my valley. So came so close in the first race. Looks as though they're going to take this. Boys under 11, Daniel Gallo. Face of a champion. Dylan Keane from Ennis Track in second place. Dylan O'Reilly, Shercock third. Sligo's Dara Steele's finishing very well. Metros and Bridges sending Kelly right up there. It's a real battle for third and fourth between Sligo and Shercock. Who's going to get it? And it looks like Sligo have just got third place. With so many club, county and provincial medals up for grabs here. The kids giving it absolutely everything up that home straight. They won't get a tougher finish in any national cross country. Next up is the girls under 13 and they'll have two and a half thousand metres. 
So they'll do one of the 1,000 metre loops in this field, and then they'll head out and do a 1,500 metre loop. So the athletes on the starting line already. So our Leinster champion is Kira Milton from St. Abbans. Our Munster champion is Emma Flynn from North Cork. Our Connacht champion is Freya Renton from Westport, who won the under-14 championships. From our sister Holly, who is second in the under-14s up in Ross and Penna. So they'll be favourites in this race. Madison Welby from City of Lusburn is the Ulster champion. And Ashling Power from DSD is the Dublin champion. So just to give you quickly the team results there from that girls under 11 race in the interprovincial competition, it was bronze for Munster, silver for Leinster and gold for Connacht. In the inter-county competition, bronze for Clare, silver for Cork and gold for Mayo. And in the inter-club competition, bronze for Clare River Harriers, silver for Ennis Track, and gold for St. Catherine's Athletic Club, who hosted today's event. That's the girls under 11 provisional team results. Away they go in the girls, under 13, 2,500 metres. Nelly Bateman from Belgooley here, who's the under 12 champion and the under 14 champion in Freya Renton. And we can already see Freya and Holly right at the front on the inside. So they set off at a really fast pace as we expect these two Renton girls. They like to front run and keep going and going. So Freya Renton has always got the better of Holly in last year's two national championships and two weeks ago in Rosapana. But the two of them are side by side this time. But they're showing their intention in the very early stages here. Hit her loop first. Freya, Holly, Freya Renton on the inside, Holly on the outside. Alan Goggin from Dunin also going well. So we'll see them come around pretty quickly this lap. Only the 1,000 metre loop to do. Well, you can see... The leaders of the swung left, Holly Renton and Freya Renton from Westport. So they come back up this tough hill near where the start was. So we wait for them to come back up to complete the first lap. Evelyn, 
So three minutes into the race. We should see the leaders come back up this hill now. And here they come, as expected, the two Renton twins. Emma Flynn from North Cork in behind them, but it's Freya from Holly, then Emma Flynn from North Cork. Nelly Bateman, the under 12 champion, having a great race. They're ready now to make. Emer Fallon from Toom. So sorry, Fintan, we're going to make the presentation now for the under 11 boys race. In 12th place, Dara McMahon of St. Cronin's Athletic Club. In 11th place, Dara Steeles of Sligo. So it's St. Cronin's then, number 3-2. We have Matthew Murphy and Rian Dignan. Then number 3-2-1, we've, is it Liam Foley? Uh, or sorry, Liam Foley, of course, he's a feature in... 261 then from Goran, we have Daniel Green. And the top six athletes in sixth place, Senan Kelly of course of Metro St. Bridges Athletic Club. In fifth place, Darren Maloney of course, of course the Athletic Club. In fourth place, Dylan O'Reilly of Shercock Athletic Club. In third place, Moss DC of Sligo Athletic Club. In second place, Dylan Keane of Ennis Track. And the 2022 Boys Under 11 Cross Country Champion is Daniel Gallagher of Moy Valley Athletic Club. So our leaders now well into their second lap. And it's still Freya and Holly Renton from Westport. Emma Flynn from North Cork. But it's Freya in the lead. Holly in second place. Emma Flynn then in third place. Nelly Bateman having a great run in fourth. Stepping up in the age group. Emer Fallon then from Tume in fifth. City of Lisburn's Madison Welby in sixth place. So our leaders start to come back up one of the hills now in the second field. But it's still Freya Renton and Holly Renton. Freya, as we said, has always got the better of her. Holly tends to just run in behind, but she's closer than ever in this one. So Freya Renton has three or four metres over Holly Renton. Emma Flynn now has been joined by Belgoolies, Nelly Bateman. The two of them are side by side. Tombs, Emma Fallon. Madison Welby from City of Lisburn. From Ellen Goggin Dunin. So our leaders head down the last hill. And that lead is still seven, eight metres. Freya Renton from Holly Renton. And then Emma Flynn and Nellie Bateman then battling it out for third and fourth. So our leaders back up a little hill, down 100 metres, and then that long, long swing for home. And they're closer than ever in any major championship. Freya looks over her right shoulder. She can see and she can hear her sister, Holly. She's right there this time. And the battle between Nellie Bateman from Belgooley and Emma Flynn from North Cork, they're right beside each other. So it's still have that gap. Is it going to be a double-double? She won the under-12s and 13s last year. She's the under-14 champion. 
This year, Holly has been second in all of those, but the gap is pretty close. So they come into view. Freya looks over her shoulder again. She'll see her sister's about 10 metres behind. There's a long, long way to go uphill. But it looks as though she's going to do enough. Two titles last year. Two titles this year. Freya Renton from Westport. Holly Renton from Westport. Nellie Bateman, the champion two weeks ago under 12, is going to be third under 13. Emma Flynn from North Cork in fourth. So two Connacht, two Munster in. Ellen Goggin then from Dunin. Battling it out with Emer Fallon from Tume. And then Madison Welby from City of Lisburn. Isabel Gaffney from West Fordford finishing very strongly then. Ashling Power from DSD, the Dublin champion, just coming through.
So just to give you the provisional team results of the boys under 11 competition in the interprovincial, Leinster were in third place, Connacht second, and Munster four. Munster the winners in the intercounty competition. Bronze for Cork, silver for Mayo, and gold for Clare. And in the interclub competition, it was bronze for Ennis Track, silver for Moy Valley, and gold for St. Cronin's of Clare. So they're the provisional boys under 11 team results. So anybody looking for results from today's championships, they'll be appearing live on myrunresults.com and they'll be on the Athletics Ireland website later on today. So our next presentation will be for the under-13 girls race and we hope to make that presentation very shortly. So our next presentation is for the under 13 girls race and making the presentation there for position 6 to 12 is Esther Fitzpatrick of the juvenile committee in 12th place Amy Kearney of St. Catherine's Athletic Club in 11th place Ruby Farley of the Bogue Athletic Club Sonia Smith of Carrick Aces in 9th place Olivia McCusker in 8th place Isabel Gaffney of West Waterford. And in seventh place, Emer Fallon of Toome Athletic Club. So we have a joint fifth. In joint fifth, we have Madison Welby of City of Lisburn Athletic Club and Ellen Goggin of Dunin Athletic Club. In fourth place, Emma Flynn of North Cork Athletic Club. In third place, Nellie Bateman of Belgooley Athletic Club. In second place, Holly Renton of Westport Athletic Club. And the 2022 under 13 girls cross country champion is Freya Renton of Westport Athletic Club. So can we have the course clear all the way around, please? Can we have the course clear all the way around, please? So this is delaying the start of the next race, so please keep the course clear all the way around. So we have a short delay before we start the boys under 13 race. So as soon as we're ready, we'll get that race underway.
Boys under 13 about to get underway. Boys under 13 are underway. So our leaders going through, looks like could be. Well, Gallagher from White Valley right up there, Ethan Bramhill. Clean AC zone, Doolin, right with that leading group as well. Crockwell's Alan Hallinan. Apologies, I just don't have any numbers for the athletes here, so I'll try our best. So the following are the provisional team results for the girls under 13, 2,500 metres in the interprovincial competition. Connacht were in third place with 85 points. Ulster, oh sorry, Connacht in third place with 86 points. Ulster second with 85 points. And Munster were the winners with 48 points. In the inter-county competition, in third place were Mayo with 219 points. Second place were Dublin with 167 points. And the winning county was Cork with 92 points. In the inter-club competition, in third place was Dundrum South Dublin with 128 points. Second place, Finn Valley with 121 points. And the winning club was Tume Athletic Club with 118 points.
So four athletes battling it out as they are well into their 1500 meter loop. So it's Adam Nunn from Temple Oak. Ethan Bramall then from Greystones and District right up with that group as well. So they swing right and come back up towards the main field now. Looks like Oren Dignan also for St. Cronin's right there with that group as well. So again, I may get some of these names wrong. We just don't have the numbers on our sheets here. But it's Adam Nunn from Temple Oak. They won the girls under 11. And they're going very well here. So Temple Oak first and third. Ethan Bramhill from Greystones and District in fourth. So Sam Deegan also from Temple Oak. So they're a little bit spread out here. So it looks like Adam Nunn from Temple Oak. I think it's Oren Dignan, then the Munster champion from St. Cronin's. In third place, Sam Deegan from Temple Oak. And then in fourth, going pretty well, just closing that gap slightly on third is Ethan Bramhill from Greystones and District. So they come back up towards us. Before they swing right, they'll see some of the athletes coming around that loop as they're right in the centre of this second field. So the gap between first and fourth is not overly significant. So now our leaders start this long uphill run for home. So we think it's Adam Nunn from Temple Oak. Oren Dignan then from St. Cronin's in second place. Then Ethan Bramhill looks to have maybe, you know, he's still in fourth. It could be Alan Hallinan from Crockwell then into third. So here comes our leaders. And it's going to be some race to the finish. There's still a lot to be done in this. Is Adam Nunn, the Dublin champion, going to take this? Look at this. From Crockwell's Alan Hallen, and he's come right through the field. He looks to be going very strongly here. Alan Hallen, the monster champion. He's taken out Adam Nunn from Tengelog. And it looks as though... Crockwell's Alan Hannan and takes this when he's tying it to perfection. He moved through the field. Bided his time. He takes that from Adam Nunn. Oren Dignan's and Cronin's third. Sam Deegan. Temple Oak four. Ethan Bramhill, Greystones and District. And Leinster champion in five. So Temple Oak, I can see if three athletes through. Corner Green then from Dunlear in behind him.
So our next medal presentation is for the boys under 13. In 12th place, Zach Fenton from St. Sennans Athletic Club. In 11th place, Jack McElroy from Ross's Athletic Club. In 10th place, Killian Galvin of Mullingar Harriers. In 9th place, Owen McGurk of Lusk Athletic Club. In 8th place, Robert Coogan of Kilkenny City Harriers. In 7th place, Owen Gallagher of... Moy Valley Athletic Club. So making the presentation there for the top six with the Athletics Ireland Vice President Breed, Breed Hallisey. In sixth place, Owen Dolan of Clayne Athletic Club. Fifth place, Ethan Bramel of Greystones and District. In fourth place, Sam Deegan of Temple Oak Athletic Club. In third place, Oren Diagnan of St. Cronin's Athletic Club. In second place, Adam Noon of Temple Oak Athletic Club. And the 2022 Boys Under 13 Cross Country Champion, Al Alan Hallinan of Crockwell Athletic Club in Galway. Girls on the 15, 3,000 metres, so they have won 1,500 metre loop. And then a 2,000 metre lap. So right at the front, we can see it's Emer McKee. From Willowfield, AC. And Emily Bolton from Denor Harriers right on her shoulder. And these two girls know how to run hard. So the two of them opening up a little bit of a lead. Faye Mannion then from Ennis Track leading out that chasing group.
So our leaders, Eamon McKee and Emily Bolton, make our way back up the centre of the lower field. So still only under 15, but these two girls have had so many battles over the years. We saw last year, Emily Bolton just got the better of Emer. Emer was ahead of her under 16 up in Rossapenna two weeks ago. Very different underfoot conditions. Faye Mannion in fourth place. Shola Lawrence just in that chasing group then as well. So our leaders head down to the lowest part of the 1500 meter loop. They've opened up about a 25 meter lead, but it hasn't got any bigger than that over the rest of the field. So still, Imer McKee leads them out. Emily Bolton in second place. Shola Lawrence now from ACC puts herself at the front of the chasing group. Lagan Valley is Olivia Morgan, also there with Shola Lawrence. So up the hill for the first of two times. It's Eamon McKee from Willowfield, Emily Bolton to Noor Harriers. And Shola Lawrence, ACC, leads out that chasing group. And she will come through the field. So just a notice there to the owner of the car, 04WW834. You've left your lights on. So Freya Bateman then in third place. A great run by her in Rossapenna as well two weeks ago. So really all the top athletes right at the front of this group. But it's still Emily Bolton and Eamon McKee. And then Freya Bateman, Shola Lawrence and Olivia Morgan from Lagan Valley then. But it looks as though... Emily Bolton has made her kick. So Shola Lawrence now looks to be out on her own in third place. But Emily Bolton has made that kick. She's opened up about 10 metres over Eamon McKee. So just to quickly give you the provisional results of the boys under 13 race in the interprovincial competition. Munster were in bronze position, Dublin province in silver, and Leinster were in the gold position there with 56 points. In the inter-county competition, in third place we had Gal Galway, second place Cork, and the winning county was Dublin. In the interprovincial competition, in third place St. Cronin's, second place Moy Valley, and the winners were Temple Oak. So they're the provisional results of the boys under 13 team competitions. So Emily Bolton has made a significant move here. She's now 20, 30 metres lead over Emer McKee. And we can see how fast those legs are churning over, really powering down the hill here. So it's Emily Bolton from Emer McKee. Shola Lawrence then in third place. Olivia Morgan, Lagan Valley 4, Freya Bateman from Belgooley in 5. Come on, Shola! Well, Emily Bolton now into the 
2,000 metre loop into the second field. So she'll go further down to the very bottom of this field. Imran McKee second. Rachel O'Flynn then in sixth place. So a few really tough hills now left to go in this 2,000 metre second lap. Emily Bolton's about to start one of those now. It's about 150 of a steep incline. Then she get a longer break downhill in the 2,000 metre, but that means it's a longer run for home up the hill. So she still has that 25, 30 metre lead over Emer McKee, but Shola Lawrence is in third place and she's going to be joined soon by Freya Bateman and Olivia Morgan. So there's a lot to go. There's well over a thousand metres to go. She's working hard up that hill. You can see the mud is absolutely sapping her out of her. Well, Emily Bolton reaches the top of the hill. Emer McKee shortly reaches the top of the hill. And then they'll get a long bit of relief down the hill. The stride is getting shorter. She's working harder. The arms are pumping harder than ever. The gap is an opening, if anything. Oh, and Ewan McKee's down. Can we get an ambulance, please, over into the second field, just on the right-hand side. Ewan McKee is down, if we can get help. So that now means that it leads about 50 metres for Emily Bolton, Shola Lawrence, Freya Bateman, and Olivia Morgan are pretty close to each other. So Emily Bolton turns the corner, comes back up a little bit of the hill. Shola Lawrence has opened up that gap a little bit more on third and fourth now. So she's well clear in second place. But Emily Bolton's working really hard. That stride up that hill is short. But then she gets that relief of the downhill. So they'll welcome this. You can see the pace significantly picking up from Emily Bolden. She still has a big gap. She swings left now. Shola Lawrence swings left. Freya Bateman then in third place. Olivia Morgan, Lagan Valley four. So it's going to be a really... Tough finish here. Emily Bolton has been right at the front from the very start. She knows what it's like to come up this hill, but this is the last time that she'll do it. She's well into the 2,000 metre loop. So it looks like Freya Bateman has moved into second place ahead of Shola Lawrence. So they're right at the very bottom of the lower field. Emily Bolton has about 30 metres over Freya Bateman, it looks like. Shola Lawrence in third. Olivia Morgan, Lagan Valley four. So it's Denor Harriers from Belgooley, from ASAC, from Lagan Valley. But will that 30 metres be enough in this last four or 500 metre drag, pure uphill? So the gap, probably 20, 25 metres. We could be in for a really tight finish here again. And Freya Bateman looks to be absolutely flying up this hill. She's absolutely closing that gap with every stride. So Freya Bateman from Belgooley, Emily Bolden from Denor Harriers. When they come into the home straight, they should be side by side. 
and Freya Bateman has taken the lead. Emily Bolton's trying to respond to her. So up the hill to come, Freya Bateman. Her sister fourth earlier on. And Freya Bateman looks to have timed this to perfection. She didn't get caught up at the start. She made her way through. Freya Bateman from Belgooley. From Emily Bolton. Denor Harriers in second place. Still about 100 metres to go for them. Shola Lawrence looks over her shoulder. She'll see that she is about 20 metres over Olivia Morgan from Lagan Valley. Issa McCarran from Lagan Valley also coming through very strongly in fifth. So we'll have two Lagan Valley home in the top five. So 13 minutes exactly for Freya Bateman to cover that three and a half thousand metres. Rachel O'Flynn then from Fermoy in sixth. Duff from West Muskery. Sarah Gaffney from West Waterford just comes through. Could the parents of Grace Gilmartin go to the very bottom of the bottom field, so the second field? So just at the junction of the 1,000 metres and 1,500 metres, Grace Kilmartins. So parents of Grace Kilmartin, if you could make your way down to the junction of the 1,000, 1,500 metre area, please. So our next presentation is for the 123.ie girls under 15 cross country. In 12th place, Skoda Pruvadaita of Celtic DCH. In 11th place, Faye Mannion of Ennis Track. In 10th place, Cara Casey of Foyle Valley. In 9th place, Abby Smith of Shercock Athletic Club. Emily Morris of Willowfield Harry. And in 7th place, Aina Duff of West Musgrave. So in sixth place, Rachel O'Flynn of Grange from Oye Athletic Club. They're not far from here. In fifth place, Isa McCarran of Lagan Valley Athletic Club. In fourth place, Olivia Morgan, also of Lagan Valley Athletic Club. In 
in third place, Shola Lawrence of Ace Athletic Club. In second place, Emily Bolton of Tenor Harriers. And the 2023 Girls Under 15 Cross Country Champion is Freya Bateman of Belgooli Athletic Club. Anybody looking for results, they're available on myrunresults.com. They'll be appearing live there and they'll be on the Athletics Ireland website later on today. So great finish there to the girls under 15, three and a half thousand. Uh, next up is the boys, three and a half thousand meters. So they'll do the 1500 meter loop and then followed by that 2000 meter loop. Done. Shannon Finn, 
Jameis O'Donoghue from Penmere. Or McRearty from Finn Valley. Here the leading group, Darren Matthews, then in fifth place. Top of Stephen O'Connell and Stephen Ruan are right there as well. Seamus O'Donoghue from Kenmare. Needs out Kevin Finn from Dina Olympic. Finn Valley. Or McRearty then in third. And Lock and Corson. SSC in four. Darren Matthews and Lear SC in five. Our two couple of athletes, Declan O'Connell and Stephen Rowan. The leaders go across the very top of the course now, and then they'll make their way back down. So they're just into this 2,000 meter loop, probably about 1,800 meters to go. So down the hill they come. So just a reminder any clubs that have won medals, please make sure you go to the medal presentation area to collect those medals. Team managers of counties and provinces, please go to the medal presentation area too to collect your medals. Kevin Finn of Bean in the mouth. Then Declan O'Connell from Crockwell. Reese Johnson from Nurse AC now right up there. He has made his way to the field, walking forward done. From Nurse AC, and these five beginning to pull clear. Crockwell is right there, 
Right beside him, Reese Johnson's man is where it's the fan from the SSC very, very nicely. Heaven Finn for being an Olympic man in four. North and four done five. Los Gassies. Connor McCork in six. Jack Mahan from St. Lawrence to tell you about it. <coughs> Well, Reese Johnson's just put himself onto the back of that leading two. So we have the Leinster champion, Reese Johnson. We have the Connacht champion, Declan O'Connell. And then Seamus O'Donoghue from Kenmare really mixing it with him. And these three have pulled well clear of Kevin Finn from Nina in four. Looking for on SAC in five. Oh, we've seen so much happen here. In everything in the last place, the girls under 15. Boys swing around and go back down to the very bottom of the course, that extra 500 meters. So it's Declan O'Connell from Copwell. He's four or five metres over Seamus O'Donoghue from Kenmare. Reese Johnson then another five metres behind him. And they've opened up probably 50 metres then to Kevin Finn from Nina Olympic, who's got five or six metres over Lock and Fort Dunn. Plus sees Conor McGurk then in behind him. But the lead probably closer to 10 metres now. For Declan O'Connell, for Cockwell. Reese Johnson's right onto the back of Seamus O'Donoghue now. And that seems to have spurred Seamus O'Donoghue on, and now the three of them are very close together. Seamus O'Donoghue has kicked on when Reese Johnson came up onto his shoulder, and they've closed the gap on Declan O'Connell from Cockwell. And now the long, long run for home. The brutal 500 meter uphill start. Still, Declan O'Connell from Cockout. So here they come, up the hill. Reese Johnson has moved into second place. Declan O'Connell still has four or five minutes. And now they're side by side, Declan O'Connell from Cockwell, Reese Johnson, so it's the Cox. And the Lens are champion, look to be following it out. So they're going to come into this home straight now. So we expect the two of them to be side by side, here they come. Declan O'Connell, and it's not over yet. Seamus O'Donoghue is right in the next spot. What a finish we have. The three of them, Reese Johnson has moved here. He looks over his right shoulder once. He looks over his right shoulder twice. He's moving away from the others. Seamus O'Donoghue seems to be getting the better of Declan O'Connell. But Reese Johnson from the next to the city. Going down, but the finish will be a happy one. So Reese Johnson takes that. Seamus O'Donoghue second. Picks up Carl Cockwell third.
Uh, I Aberdeen all the time. But I
Girls under 17, 4,000 metres underway. So they'll have two of the 2,000 metre laps. We can see Nicole Dynan from Leeville, sixth in the junior championships two weeks ago. Eimear Cooney from ASAC. Lorraine O'Connor from Denor Harriers, the champion under 16 two weeks ago. Very, very impressive. Dervla Allen from St. Peter's with the group as well. Leading them out, the under 16 athlete, Dervla Allen, also under 16 from St. Peter's, in second. And then Lorraine O'Connor from Denor Harriers. Lucy Foster from Willowfield, Claude Gill. From Moy Valley, second, under 16 again two weeks ago, to Lorraine O'Connor. So it's been a good day for Moy Valley so far, and Claude Gill will be in the mix. But it's Emer Cooney from ASAC, Lorraine O'Connor, Denor Harriers. Lucy Foster from Willowfield. Claude Gill, Nicole Dynan from Leevale. And Dervla Allen from St. Peter's. And these six pulling away from the rest of the field. So down the hill they go for the swing left now and it's still Lorraine O'Connor from Denor Harriers in the lead right in her shoulder in the Willowfield Harriers singlet is Lucy Foster, Claude Gill from Moy Valley in behind them, Emer Cooney from ASAC and Dervla Allen just a few metres behind them and then four or five metres to Nicole Dynan and then Avian McCormick from Glasslock leading out the next group. So just in case anyone lost any property when they were up in Rossapenna two weeks ago, just at the information point, all that gear is here for you to collect today. So Lorraine O'Connor and Lucy Foster, a couple of metres just over Claudia Gill from Emer Cooney right on her shoulder and then five or six metres to Dervla Allen. So as they head straight across to do this extra 500 metres of the 2,000 metre loop, then Nicole Dynan about 20 metres behind Dervla Allen. So again, the first six here. Get on to the Irish team for that international over in Perth. And Lorraine O'Connor, the under-16 champion, very impressive up in Rossapana. Lucy Foster, winner of a... Multiple cross-country and track championships. Claude Gill, 
second under 16 two weeks ago. Sub 10 minutes, 3,000 meter athletes. She's just on the back of them. A couple of meters then to Emer Cooney from SAC, who's got about 15 meters over Dervla Allen, who has about 25 meters over Nicole Dynan. So Lorraine O'Connor, a couple of weeks ago, moved away from the field and Clodagh Gill closed her down in the latter stages, but just hadn't enough time to get any closer. Today she's keeping closer order to her. She's right there on her shoulder, tucked in behind Lucy Foster from Willowfield. So they're shortly going to come back into the main field, a couple of hundred metres before they start into their second lap. And Lucy Foster from Willowfield is taking it on. Lorraine O'Connor and Clodagh Gill side by side, seven or eight metres behind. So the leaders now make their way up through halfway. So it's Lucy Foster. She moves to the right of the course. She swings right. Next time they'll come straight up into the finish. Lorraine O'Connor and Clodagh Gill just keeping close order. Then about 25 metres to Emer Cooney, who's about 10 metres to Dervla Allen. 20 metres then to Nicole Dynan. And that's the top six so far. Julie Cleary from Denor Harriers in seventh. So they go across the top of the course. Five metres lead for Lucy Foster over Clodagh Gill from Moy Valley. Then in third place, Lorraine O'Connor. It's another seven or eight metres behind. So they make their way downhill on the main field, just across the finish area. And Clodagh Gill slowly but surely just making her way back up to Lucy Foster. So it's Willowfield Harriers from Moy Valley. From Denor Harriers. So just to quickly give you the team results of the boys under 15 competition. So these are provisional results. In the interprovincial competition, in third place, Connacht with 121 points. In second place, Munster with 81 points. And Leinster were the winners with 54 points. In the inter-county competition, third place Cork with 152 points, second place Dublin with 144 points, and the winning county was Galway with 128 points. In the inter-club competition, third place were Denor Harriers with 198 points, Lagan Valley were second with 170 points, and Crockwell were the winners with 146 points. So they're the provisional results of the under-15 boys race. So even the downhill looks tough, it's really... Muddy underfoot, they're working hard even going down the hill and then they have to do it all back up the hill. And now Lucy Foster swings back up the centre of this bottom course. Clodagh Gill has kept her in her sight but that gap has not got any closer. So the low knee lift of Lucy Foster, very effective on this real muddy terrain. Clodagh Gill, the much bouncier athlete, you can see 
the rocky under terrain or the bumpy under terrain making it tough work for her but she's not let her away the gap's probably 10 15 meters but the lower stride looks to be more effective for Lucy Foster, Claudia Gillen in second. And now Emer Cooney's coming up onto the shoulder of Lorraine O'Connor. In the battle for third and fourth, Devla Allen is only about 15, 20 metres behind those two. Julie Cleary from Denor Harriers, then Nicole Dynan. So Julie Cleary has moved into sixth place, that valuable sixth place, Nicole Dynan. In seventh. So down the hill they go, another 50 metres, and then they swing left, come back towards us, and the gap's still that 10 metres. We know both of them have good track speed. We know they have the endurance over the cross country, but Claudia Gill is probably just closing that gap now as we speak. Both of them go back down the hill now. So Lucy Foster, Claudia Gill have opened up a big, big gap. Emer Cooney now, clear in third place. It's amazing the difference in the terrain from two weeks ago to today. The difference in the way it suits athletes. Lorraine O'Connor, under 16 athlete. Going well in fourth place. Devil Allen closing in on her. So we've third, fourth and fifth, both under 16 athletes. But the battle... In fact, second, third, fourth, and fifth. But it's the under-17 athlete, Lucy Foster from Willowfield. So she looks to have extended the lead there now. So she goes across the bottom of the course. Then she'll swing left. Come down and around in a big long run for home. She's probably 20 metres now over Claudia Gill. But she's, the head is down. She's working really, really hard. This is going to be a tough last seven or 800 metres for both of those athletes. Emer Cooney then about 40, 50 metres back in third place. Claudia Gill looks over her shoulder as she turns that corner. She'll see Emer Cooney now turning that corner. Lorraine O'Connor about 30 metres behind Emer Cooney. And then about 25 to Dervla Allen. And then Julie Cleary from Donor in that valuable sixth spot. But right to the very bottom of the course goes Lucy Foster. She swings back. She's the long run up, for, up the hill now. Claudia Gill has stayed in contention, but the gap is about 20 metres. So it's Willow Field from Moy Valley. That's definitely going to be the one-two, it looks like here. Emer Cooney looks well clear in third place. And now Devla Allen's only five or six metres behind Lorraine O'Connor in the battle for fourth and fifth. So they're well up the hill in the second field. Another couple of hundred metres before they make their way back in. And Claudia Gill is trying to close it down. You see the long, rangy stride, but it's the short knee lift that's the most effective up the hill. The gap is still 20 metres. Lucy Foster from Willowfield. She's going to swing right. And then she'll be 100 metres before she's back in the main field. So here comes Lucy Foster from Willowfield. What's the gap like? Claudia Gill looks over her shoulder. Does that mean she's settling for second or is she going to battle back? Lucy Foster's working so hard here. Claudia Gill's battling back. It's only about 10 metres to the two of them. We could have a super, super close finish here. Lucy Foster's kicked on again. Claudia Gill, it's going to be second twice in two weeks for her, it looks like. So Lucy Foster from Willowfield Harriers. Is going to take this under 17 girls. Claudia Gill nearly trips up that home straight, but she's got clear in second. Emer Cooney, SAC, a great run in third. I think that's third twice for her. Great run by Dervla Allen St. Peters in four. So two lead athletes in that team. And then to complete the Irish, 
team is Lorraine O'Connor and Julie Cleary, both from Denor Harriers. Then Jody Foster will probably join her sister on the podium there. Great run by her. So our next medal presentation is for the 123.ie under 17 girls cross country. In 12th place, Aoife Blewett. In 11th place, Elsa Moore of Lifford Straban. In 10th place, Nicole Dynan of Leavell Athletic Club. In 9th in place, Christina Captain Martin of Kilkenny City Harriers. In 8th place, Jodie Foster of Willowfield Harriers. In 7th place, Rachel Ayres of St Albans Athletic Club. So in sixth place, Julie Cleary of Denor Harriers. In fifth place, Lorraine O'Connor of Denor Harriers. In fourth place, Dervla Allen of St. Peter's Athletic Club. In third place, Emer Cooney of Ace Athletics Club. In second place, Claude Gill of A Moy Valley Athletic Club. And the 2022 under 17 girls cross country champion, Lucy Foster of Willowfield Harriers. So can a coach there from Bray Runners Athletic Club please come to the finishing line there? One of their athletes is at the first aid. So coach from Bray Runners, can you please go to the finish line there? One of their athletes is at first aid. That's grand, yeah. Yeah, who's the landowner? So you are th yeah, thank you and well done. Yeah. No bother. Going well. 
So don't forget there's soup and sandwiches for sale at the shop if you need any. Once again, a big thank you to St. Catherine's Athletic Club for hosting today's cha championships and Frank Hayes and his family for allowing us to use his lands. So the under-17 boys race will be starting shortly. If you have any rubbish, will you please take it home or put in the bins around the area? So a reminder again to any team managers, if you've not yet collected your medals anyway, at the club, county or province, please make sure you collect them in plenty of time. So you'll be announcing the results there of the under-17 girls team competition very shortly. decision after the track and field not to do the early cross countries and know that that only come in yeah you know even just the counties but not the start It starts in January and it finishes in March. Boys under 17, 5,000 metres underway, so they'll do one of the 1,000 metre loops followed by two of the 2,000 metre laps.
Pete Farrell from Ennis Track, Noah Harris from Ashford, River Stick and Sales, Ryan McCarthy, Sean Cronin from Clonliffe Harriers, our medalist at the European Youth Olympics earlier this year, the Dublin champion right there, Connor Sherwin from Mullingar Harriers in that group. So they head out into the second field. They'll reappear back in this main field very shortly after this 1,000 metre loop. Of the, the following, the provisional results of the under 17 girls race. In the interprovincial competition, in third place, Dublin, with 130 points. In second place, Ulster, with 76 points. And the winners were Leinster, with 52 points. In the intercounty competition, Cork were third, with 232 points. Mayo, second, with 216 points. And Dublin were the winners, with 130 points. In the interclub competition, St. Senans were third, with 191 points. Luke and Harriers, second, with 180 points. And the winners were Moy Valley with 112 points. So here they come. Back in towards the midfield. Ryan McCarthy, Riverstick can sail. Caelan McFadden, the under-16 champion, right in the centre of them. So a really popular winner of the Cranford AC athlete in Cranford. Taking that under-16 title, Cormac Dixon from Talla AC, Sean Cronin from Clonliffe Harriers, Connor Sherwin, Noah Harris, they're all right there. So a massive bunch. Thomas Bolton, Denor Harriers. But the field really bunched together, as you'd expect in the early stages. So 4,000 metres to go. So down the hill they come. And Caelan McFadden from Cranford right there at the front. The under-16 champion. Very impressive up in Rossapenna. Beating Francis O'Donoghue. Dermot Maloney now takes the lead from Nina Olympic. So it's Dermot Maloney, Caelan McFadden, Cormac Dixon, Noah Harris, Ryan McCarthy, Riverstick can sail. But probably a bunch of 20, 25 of them. So as they make their way back up this centrepiece of the bottom field, it's Dermot Maloney right in the centre leading them out. Cranford Aces. Caelan McFadden's right there as well. Ennis tracks Pete Farrell. Cormac Dixon, Noah Harris, Sean Cronin. But the field just beginning to get a little bit strung out here. As Dermot Maloney begins to push it on. 
So probably a group of about 10 of them. My varies. Dara Mulroney right in the middle of that group as well. So they head on down towards the lowest part of the course. And it's still Dermot Maloney from Nina Olympic, second in the Munster Championships. But Pete Farrell, the Munster Champions in that group as well. Keelan McFadden from Cranford AC. The Ulster champion, the National Under-16 champion, just tucked in second place there. But still a big group of athletes. So the athletes make their way back towards us. Big, big group still. And they'll come back up into the main field and they'll get the bell. So Kayla McFadden now from Cranford goes into the lead. He bided his time a couple of weeks ago and saved it for the home straight to his home crowd. But he looks to be making a bit of a move here. So it's Kayla McFadden from Cranford in the lead. Cormac Dixon, right there. Dara Mulrooney, Moy Valley. Frank Buchanan from St. Michael's and then a skillin with that group also. Sean Cronin just in the back of the group.
So the leaders make their way down this main field and then head out for probably the last 12 or 1300 meters. So it's Dara Mulrooney from Moy Valley. Cormac Dixon. Caelan McFadden. Oisin McGlynn from City of Lisbon's right there. Noah Harris, Sean Cronin. Pete Farrell from Ennis Track. So up this testy hill again. So it looks like we have some racing prospect here. Frank Buchanan from St. Michael's. Darmel Rooney. Peter Farrell. Sh Sean. Cronin, Cormac Dixon, Kayla McFadden, Dermot Maloney, Nina Olympic, and then Noah Harris just off the back of that group. So Get a little bit of break now and they'll swing back up 80, 90 metres and then get another couple of hundred metre break downhill and nobody has made the move yet. It's still Dara Mulrooney from Moy Valley. Cormac Dixon on the inside of him. Then Peter Farrell from Ennis Track. Kayla McFadden from Cranford. Frank Buchanan, St Michael's. Dermot Maloney from Nina Olympic. So swing left and then he'll swing right. And now Peter Farrell from Ennis Track has moved in front. Cormac Dixon, Dara Mulrooney and Keelan McFadden are just beginning to make this move. The start leading seven or eight has got well strung out in the last couple of hundred metres. Peter Farrell has put himself right to the front, but Darren Mulrooney from Moy Valley, they're having a brilliant day here today. Cormac Dixon from Tala AC. Dermot Maloney from Nina Olympic, and then Sean Cronin it looks like from Clonliffe Harriers from Oisin McGlynn City of Lisburn, and then Frank Buchanan St Michael's. But still, nobody has taken it all in that first five. Dara Mulrooney in the Moy Valley singlet right at the front. Cormac Dixon from Tala AC in second. Caelan McFadden third. Peter Farrell four. And Dermot Maloney five. And then Sean Cronin just a few metres off them. He's not done yet either. So only about four or five hundred metres to go. And five or six of them right in contention here. Right at the back of that group is Dermot Maloney. He's only about three or four metres off Dara Mulrooney from Moy Valley. So what a finishing prospect we have here. Cormac Dixon has made his move for home. Keelan McFadden is trying to go with him. Dara Mulrooney's trying to go with him as well. It looks like these three are beginning to pull clear. So here they come. Cormac Dixon has pulled clear. The track specialist showing that he can do it over cross country. The European Youth Olympian looks as though he's going to take 
what I think might be his first national cross country title. Cormac Dixon, Darren Mulroney from Keelan McFadden, from Dermot Maloney from Nina Olympic, then Peter Farrell. But Cormac Dixon looks over his shoulder, he sees he's got 20 metres. So Cormac Dixon takes it from Darren Mulroney, Keelan McFadden, Dermot Maloney, Peter Farrell, then Oshin McGlynn, Sean Cronin. up to thus far for the day. How many K have you done so far? Uh, I don't know. I don't even have to check on the I don't know. It's a tough finish that they built. It's brutal. Yeah, that's brutal.
the seven in the front row. That's spent. Okay. So our next medal presentation will be for the boys under 17 cross country race. And making the presentation is Frank Thompson, of CEO of RSA and 123.ie. In 12th place, we have Frank Buchanan of St. Michael's College Athletic Club. In 11th place, Leo Murray of Toker Athletic Club. In 10th place, Connor Sherwin of Mullingar Harriers. In 9th place, Tom Breslin of Clonliffe Harriers. In 8th place, Matthias Bouquet of Crockwell Athletic Club. In 7th place, Sean Cronin of Clonliffe Harriers. In 6th place, Eric Doherty of Westport Athletic Club. In 5th place, Peter Farrell of Venice Track Athletic Club. In 4th place, Jeremy Maloney of Nino Olympic. Creelan McFadden of Cranford in 3rd place. So Dara Mulrooney of Moy Valley in 2nd place. And the 2022 Boys Under 17 Cross Country Champion is Cormac Dixon of Tal Athletic Club. So well done to all those athletes. So anybody looking for tea and sandwiches, the shop is still open. Also, once again, a big thank you to St. Catherine's Athletic Club for hosting today's championships and Frank Hayes and his family for allowing us to use his lands to host the championships. Short break now before we get underway for the under 19 girls, 4,000 metres. So it's due off at 2 o'clock.
exciting there. That So the following are the provisional results of the 123.ie under-17 girls cross-country. In the interprovincial competition, in third place were Munster with 107 points. Second place, Ulster with 102 points. And in first place, the Dublin province with 82 points. Sorry, these are the boys under-17 team results. In the inter-county competition, in third place were Mayo with 249 points. Second place, Wicklow with 242 points. And the winning county was Dublin with 82 points. In the inter-club competition, in third place were Monaghan Phoenix with 163 points. Nino Olympic were second with 156 points. And the winning club was Clonliffe Harriers of Dublin with 52 points. So they're the results of the boys under 17 team competitions. You just do the 400 meters there off a nine minute over him, isn't it? Four races to go. He closed his 400 down to 17 guns there, no. No, no, but if you go over, you might run as us, they'll be able to give you whatever results you want, yeah? But on the final, you just gathered it in the last one. Oh, did you run? Oh, I actually missed it. Oh, he ran 8 or 5. At least I thought he didn't run it yet. He doesn't perform, but like. She's over 23 as well, isn't she? Thank you. 
this is the true result of Alex and Ilya trying to cover everyone, but you're all just waiting. Tim O'Donnell, you know, Tim was down, Tim and Amarvin. Yeah, 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 yeah. And not the best performance from Lake Oakley, he's not going to be Irish at the national, but you can expect more like it. Girls under 19 on the line. Just over a minute to the start of this 4,000 metres. Girls under 19, 4,000 metres underway. So a top field here. Looks like Eamon McCarroll from Finn Valley leading them out. Maeve Eakin from Dunlear right there as well, but very, very early stages. So it looks like Avril Melerick leading the field out. Clara Keane, Maeve Eakin, Emer McCarroll from Finn Valley. So these four pulling clear from the rest of the field in the early stages. So very bumpy underfoot. So it's Avril Mellerick from Eamon McCarroll, Maeve Eakin, Clara Keane. And Murren Duffy from Clonmel just in behind that leading four. So it's still Avril Mellerick, fifth in the juniors. Two weeks ago, Maeve Eakin just tucked in behind her. Clara Keane then from DMP. Then Eamon McCarroll from Finn Valley. And then Mwirin Duffy from Clonmel. 
followed by Heather Murphy from St. Michael's. Uh, Avril Malarik really pushing this on here. Maeve Eakin from Dunlear still on her shoulder. And then Clara Keane in third place from Emer McCarroll and Murren Duffy. So a very strong y'all team here in this under-19 girls. And it's Avril Mellerick from y'all leads them out. But Maeve Eakin from Dunlear is right there in second place. Clara Keane in third place. And then Warren Duffy from Clonmel has moved into fourth. From Eamon McCarroll from Finn Valley in five. Then Heather Murphy, St. Michael's in six. So twice this big long hill to do. So the first of two laps underway. Well, Avril Mellerick really showing her intent here. She went to the front at the gun and pushed it on. And she has three athletes have gone with her. Maeve Eakin from Dunlear, Clara Keane from DMP, and we're in Duffy from Clonmel. But Avril Melrick and Maeve Eakin are beginning to pull clear as they're coming up to the first lap completed. We're in Duffy from Clonmel now in third. Clara Keane, DMP four. So they head out now into their second lap. And it's Avril Mellerick from Yall, Maeve Eakin from Dunlear side by side. Marin Duffy, Clon Mel then five or six metres behind from Clara Keane, DMP. Emer McCarroll, Finn Valley, then Heather Murphy, St. Michael's. And then Emma Landers from Yall. So the leaders go across the top now, start to make their way downhill. In this top main field, they'll soon see the finish on their left hand side. We have about 1200, or about 17 or 1800 meters away from that finish. And it's Maeve Eakin in the yellow and black of Dunlear, and the green and white of Yall is Avril Mellerick. And this haven't broke too far clear of Mirren Duffy from Clonmel.
So they nearly make their way into the second field. So it's Avril Melrick from Maeve Eakin. In third place, Moran Duffy from Clonmel, Clara Keane from DMP in four, and then Eamon McCarroll, Finn Valley five, Heather Murphy, St. Michael's in six, Emma Landers, Yall in seven, Eamon Hughes, Castlebar in eight. And then Avril Cashman from Yall in nine. So Yall with three athletes in the top nine. Neve Brady, St. Peter's in ten. So the swing and come back up the hill. And Avril Mellerick has opened up a little bit of a gap over Maeve Eakin. Murren Duffy from Clonmel still going well in third place. But the gap's only five, six metres between Avril Mellerick and Maeve Eakin. So they swing left now down the hill. They'll get a nice 150 meter break. And Avril Mallorick with six, seven, eight meters lead now over Maeve Eakin from Dunlear, who's got about 20 meters over Murren Duffy from Clonmel, who's about 40 meters over Clara Keane from DMP, who's about the same lead over Eamon McCarroll from Finn Valley. Well, that lead now probably extends to 10 metres now for Avril Mellerick over Maeve Eakin. And then she's only about 10 metres ahead of Murren Duffy now from Clonmel. So Avril Mellerick looks over her right shoulder. She'll see she has 10, 15 metres lead over Maeve Eakin from Dunlear who has the same lead over Murren Duffy from Clonmel. So down the hill they go again. So they'll swing left and right across the very bottom and then that long, long run for home. But the gap now maybe 15 metres. Avril Mellerick, 15 metres over Maeve Eakin, who's got much the same gap over Murren Duffy. So it's Yall, Dunlear, Clonmel, from Clara Keane then in DMP. So we can see Avril Mellerick really working here. Maeve Eakin's heads down up that incline for this swing left and get a little bit of a gap downhill, maybe 100 metres, and then that long, long run for home. And it looks like Murren Duffy from Clonmel is just coming up onto the shoulder of Maeve Eakin in second place. Avril Mellerick looks again as she goes round that corner. She'll see she still has that 15 metre gap, but it's no bigger. So it's Avril Mellerick from Maeve Eakin and Murren Duffy now side by side nearly. So across the bottom of the course they go, and then they start the long run for home. Murren Duffy from Clonmel's moved into second place over Maeve Eakin. Can she close that 20 meter gap of, over Avril Mellerick from Yall? So Avril Mellerick, every time she turns a corner, she looks over that left shoulder. She'll see them, she'll see the gap. But Murren Duffy has given us a real good go in second place. So it's still Avril Mallorick. She looks to have extended that lead now. 
over Marin Duffy, so she looks to be pretty comfortable now. She went from the gun and she took it on. And her lead's now maybe 30 metres over Marin Duffy. And then about 20 metres to Maeve Eakin in third. But Avril Melrick now comes into the home straight. So the Yall athlete, a great run. In the juniors, the under-19 athlete, she'll have another go again next year. She looks over that shoulder again. She'll see that she can coast into the finish. 150 metres to go. A great run in second place by Murren Duffy from Clonmel. Maeve Eakin battling back. Clara Keane from DMP in fourth. So just bang on 15 minutes in real testy conditions there for Avril Melrick. And then Emma McCarroll being chased down by Emma Landers. But well, it looks like Emma may have done enough. So two y'all athletes in. In the top six. A great run then by Heather Murphy from St. Michael's. And is Emma Landers going to get Emer on the line? Looks as though Emer just holds on for that one. Then Avril Cashman from y'all. Gets their third athlete home. Great run by Neve Brady from St. Peter's. From Emer Hughes in Castle Bar. And then it looks like Alex Cashman's going to be the fourth y'all athlete home in the top 12.
Perfect. Okay. okay. Yep. Ready. So our next presentation, our next presentation is for the 123.ie Athletics Ireland Girls Under 19 Cross Country Race. So making the presentation for positions 7 to 12, we have the legend Marcus O'Sullivan. So in 12th place, we have Isabella Tomkin Betty of Dundrum, South Dublin. In 11th place, Alice Cashman of Yall Athletic Club. In 10th place, Neve Brady of St. Peter's Athletic Club. In ninth place, Emer Hughes of Castlebar Athletic Club. In eighth place, Avril Cashman of Yall Athletic Club. And in seventh place, Heather Murphy of St. Michael's Athletic Club. I'm making the presentation there for the top six positions. We have the CEO of RSA Athletic Club, or RSA and 123.ie, so Kevin Thompson. In sixth place, we have Emma Landers of Yall Athletic Club. In fifth place, Emer McCarroll of Valley. In fourth place, Tara Keane of DMP Athletic Club in Wexford. In third place, Maeve Aiken of Dunleer Athletic Club. In second place, Mirren Duffy of Clonmel Athletic Club. And the 2022 Girls Under 19 Cross Country Champion, Avril Millerick of Yall. And she also led the Yall team home in gold. Yall have four in the top 12. The medal presentations were being given out there in the girls under 19 by the great Marcus O'Sullivan. The boys under 19 are underway. So 6,000 metres for the boys. Three 2,000 metre loops. So William Verling from St. Nicholas leads them out from Billy Coogan from Kilkenny City Harriers. William Verling from St. Nicholas really pushing it on here in these very early stages. Niall Murphy from Ennis Track right there as is Keane Hodgins and Luke Purcell from Nina Olympic. Then Harry Colbert, David Williams, Louis Woodger from Metro St. Bridget. So the field, still well bunched together, long, long way to go, just over a thousand metres of this, six thousand metres. 
And now Niall Murphy takes it on. So real strong Ennis track team. So two of those, Mark Hanrahan and Dean Casey, is part of the Irish team now next week. Head to the European Juniors in a really strong Irish team. Harry Colbert then. William Verling from St. Nicholas. David Williams, Louis Wooger. Keen Hodgins and Luke Purcell. Then Jack Fenlon from St. Abbans, Billy Coogan. But Niall Murphy from Ennis Track is pushing it on, they're like a train here at the front. <laughs> so it should be a real competitive race. Most of the top under 19 athletes here. So a couple of them heading to Turin next week with the rest of them all racing here today. So Niall Murphy now from Menace Tracks opened up a few metres lead over Harry Colbert. So just to quickly give you the provisional team results for the under-19 girls race. In the interprovincial competition, third place were Dublin with 122 points. Second place, Leinster with 88 points. And the winners were Munster with 44 points. In the inter-county competition, Kildare were fourth with 158 points. Clare were third with 132 points. Dublin second with 69 points. And the winners were Cork with 41 points. In the inter-club competition... In third place were Ennis Track with 84 points. Dundrum South Dublin took silver with 53 points. And the winning club was Yall with 15 points. So they're the provisional girls under 19 results. So as they head out to start their second of three 2,000 metre loops, Harry Colbert just on the inside. Niall Murphy from Ennis Track. Louis Wooger is right there. Daniel Ryan Ellis from Nina. Olympic, Keen Hodgins, also Nina Olympic, David Williams, St. Sennans. So any clubs that have not yet collected their team medals, can they please come to the medal presentation area to collect their medals? Girls under 17, we're looking for St. Sennans Athletic Club. They're bronze medalists. In the boys under 17, they were looking for Clonliffe Harriers, who are the winners, and Nino Olympic, who are silver medalists. They can come to the medal presentation area now to collect their club medals. So the leaders come to the bottom of the main field, ready to head out into this lower field. Still no change. It's Niall Murphy from Harry Galbert. Niall Murphy looks over his shoulder. You see there's five or six of them right there. Daniel Ryan Ellis from Nina Olympic. Louis Wooger. David Williams. And then Keane Hodgins. Sean Lawton from Doris AC in that leading group then as well. And then Jack Fennell and Billy Coogan. And it looks like Luke Purcell from Nina Olympic. So three Nina Olympic in the top ten.
So the athletes right across this uphill. Niall Murphy on the inside. Harry Colbert just on his outside. And then we have the two Nina Olympic athletes, Keen Hodgins and Daniel Ryan Ellis. Louis Wurger in between the two of them. David Williams going really well from St. Sennans. And then Sean Lawton from Doris AC. Just a little bit of a gap to him. So as the two monster athletes side by side as they turn to come back up towards us. Harry Colbert of Waterford AC in the blue. In the red of Ennis track we have Niall Murphy. In behind them then we have Louis Wooger from Metro St. Bridget. Daniel Ryan Ellis and Keen Hodgins from Nina Olympic. David Williams in behind them. Then Sean Lawton from Doris AC. Billy Coogan from Kilkenny City Harriers. From Luke Purcell, Nina Olympic. And then Jack Fenlon from St. Evans. <laughs> what Niall Murphy and Harry Purcell pulling clear from the rest of the field. The gap now probably 20 metres over Louis Wooger from Metro St. Bridget. And the two of them are side by side. Harry Colbert, still under 18, went to the European Youth Championships in Jerusalem earlier this year. Niall Murphy, part of that really strong Ennis track team, both schools and cl uh, club. But now Harry Colbert has taken it on. So well into the second lap. They've got about the 500 metre uphill before they'll get the bell. And Harry Colbert has pushed it on. Niall Murphy is tucked in behind him. Louis Wooger is in third place on his own. And then it's the two Nina Olympic athletes, Keen Hodgins and Daniel Ryan Ellis. So still nothing between the two monster men. The Waterford AC athlete, Harry Colbert, the Clare athlete, Ennis Track, Niall Murphy. Louis Wooger then all on his own in third place. But the two Nina Olympic boys working hard together to get back on to him. Keen Hodgins and Daniel Ryan Ellis. But our leaders, Niall Murphy is now just taking it on again with the two of them come up they'll get the bell now in about 100 150 meters so harry colbert in the blue of waterford ac in the red of ennis track it's niall murphy louis wager in third place and then david williams having a great run has moved into fourth place from keen hodgins need olympic in five daniel ryan ellis in six Sean Lawton, Doris AC in seven. So the leaders make their way down the hill in the main field for the last time.
There's still nothing between them. They're about 50 metres clear of Louis Wager. Niall Murphy leads them out. Is he going to get his first national cross-country title? Harry Colbert from Waterford AC is tucked in behind him. So we wait for the leaders to swing back up this hill. Niall Murphy still in the front. Harry Colbert just a metre or two behind. About a thousand metres to go. Two real quality athletes battling it out here. Niall Murphy continues to push it on. Harry Colbert has told him he's there at every chance, but the gap may be just beginning to open. There's a couple of metres between them. Niall Murphy, three metres maybe over. Harry Colbert from Waterford. Louis Wooger still on his own in third place. And then David Williams from St. Sennans. And Keane Hodgins side by side, four and five. Daniel Ryan Ellis from Nina and six. And then Sean Lawton, not far behind him from Doris AC. And Nina Olympic going really well here with three athletes in the top eight or nine with Luke Purcell from Nina Olympic to head of Billy Coogan. And then William Verling from St. Nicholas. But Niall Murphy looks to have made a decisive move here. He holds on to the railings as he tries to go around that really muddy bottom part of the course. He's maybe 10 metres over Harry Colbert from Waterford. And it looks to be between these two. They have a big gap of about 50, 60 metres over Louis Wood. But Niall Murphy's beginning to move away with every stride. He's maybe 15 metres clear now. So he looks to be 20, maybe 25 metres now. He swings left. And then he'll swing right and go across the bottom of the course. And then down to the bottom and swing left and all the way up to the finish. But Niall Murphy, training partner to Mark Hanner and Dean and Dylan Casey. What a team they have down there. He's maybe 20 metres clear. Harry Colbert puts his head down. He's working really hard. But Niall Murphy looks to be absolutely flying in front here. Still Louis Wooger on his own in third place. From Keane Hodgins now is maybe 10 metres over David Williams for four and five. Niall Murphy now nearly at the very bottom of the course. He has to get to the very top of the course to get to the finish. What a brutal finish it is. Five and a half thousand metres done, about 500 to go. But the gap now maybe 30 metres, 35 metres. And Niall Murphy, you can see how hard he's working here. The arms are pumping. So Niall Murphy now probably 40 metres clear. Harry Colbert, probably about 100 metres clear then of Louis Wooger in third place. Keane Hodgins, about 20 metres behind him. David Williams then, probably about 15 behind that. But Niall Murphy flying up that hill. He's absolutely full of running still. This is going to be a great win by the Ennis track athlete. So a couple of turns left before he's the long run into the finish. So Niall Murphy now, 100 metres before he hits the top field and then he's about another 150 metres. He's well clear, he can enjoy this last couple of hundred metres. Niall Murphy from Ennis Track. He's going to take this under 19 boys, 6,000 metres. 
Harry Colbert put it up to him for about 5,000. But Niall just moved away. So Niall Murphy, going to be about 19.10. And then a very strong finish by Keen Hodgins from Nina Olympic to get the better of Louis Wooger. And David Williams from St. Sennans flying up that home straight as well. He's going to be fifth. A good run then by Sean Lawton from Doris AC in sixth. And then we have our two Nina Olympic athletes, Luke Purcell, followed by Daniel Ryan Ellis. Where's the first six? Uh, we'll give them to Kevin or, or to. First six have them here, John. So, yeah. Kevin, would you like to do the honor? Okay. Right. Uh, he's, he's sharing out the privileges, John. So our next medal presentation will be for the boys under 19 race. So make the presentations for positions seven to twelve is Michael Quinlan, chair of the finance committee. So in twelfth place is Garo Long of St. Sennans Athletic Club. In 11th place, Billy Cogan of Kilkenny City Harriers. In 10th place, William Verling of St. Nick's Athletic Club, just over the road. And then we have Barry Conway of Ennis Track Athletic Club and Munster. So Daniel Ryan Ellis of Nino Olympic. And in 7th place, Luke Purcell of Nino Olympic. I'm making the presentation for the top six places. We've Kevin Thompson, CEO of RSA and 123.ie, our new sponsor. So 
in Sean Lawton of Durst Athletic Club, sixth. So Williams of St. Sennans Athletic Club in fifth place. So Woodger of Metro St. Bridget's in fourth place. In third place, Keen Hodgins of Nino Olympic. In second place, Harry Colbert of Waterford Athletic Club. And the 2022 123.ie Boys Under 19 Cross Country Champion, Niall Murphy of Venice Track Athletic Club in Clare. So that was our last juvenile event of the day. So well done to all the athletes who took part in our championships today. And just started there, we have the novice women's race. In the women's novice, 4,000 metres. So a brilliant day's juvenile racing. Two races left now. Novice women underway, and then the novice men, 6,000 metres. So our leaders make their way up the hill. So it's Neve Kaneen from Nina Olympic, from Fiona Everard, Bandon AC, Lucy Holmes then from West Waterford. So a group of six or seven there. Fiona Everard from Bandon AC leading them out. Kay McDonald from Ballyrone Abbey Leaks and District just in that group also. Lucy Holmes. Nina Olympics, Neve Kaneen.
So a big groove of them go across the bottom of the course. Now they'll swing right down to the very bottom. And it's still Neve Canine and Fiona Everard at the front. Lucy Holmes then tucked in behind them. So the yellow singlet of Bandon AC, Fiona Everard, leads them out. And then the West Waterford singlet of Lucy Holmes then in second place. Fiona Everard now beginning to open up a little bit of a gap over the field. Lucy Holmes, West Waterford in second place. So Fiona Everard's going to come up to complete the first of two laps with a decent lead. Laura Buckley from Dunboyne then in third place. And then Kate McDonald from Ballyroan Abbey Leaks in District in fourth. So that long drag from the very bottom to the very top of the course. And Fiona Everard has opened up a significant lead here, probably 40 metres now. So she swings left across the very top of the course. Nice three or 400 metres downhill. So it's Fiona Everard with a big, big lead. So great run last week in the National Seniors. Fiona Everard looks supremely comfortable here as she heads down into the second field now, absolutely gliding across this really tough terrain. Laura Buckley from Dunboyne's moved into second place. From Lucy Holmes, third. From Kate McDonald, Ballyroan Abbey Leaks in district in four. And then Claire Rafter, Dublin City Harriers. From Adele Gaffney, Trim AC. But our leader, Fiona Everard, comes back up the centre of this bottom field. She's absolutely gliding across this tough conditions. Laura Buckley now 
well clear in second place from Lucy Holmes West Waterford in third. Well, there's been a real dominant display by Fiona Everard. Kate McDonald now comes up onto the shoulder of Lucy Holmes and goes past her into third place. Claire Rafters in five. Adele Gaffney trim AC in six, but our leader well on her way down this bottom course before she's about 50 metres before she'll swing left and come back up towards us. And then she'll enter that extra 500 metre loop of this 2,000 metre loop. So she swings left, comes back towards us. So just to quickly give you the team results of the boys under 19 race in the interprovincial competition. Bronze for Dublin, silver for Leinster and gold for Munster. In the inter-county competition, Tipperary were third with 132 points, Cork second with 116 points and Dublin were the winners with 102 points. In the inter-club competition, bronze for Dundrum South Dublin, silver for Ennis Track and gold for Nino Olympic. So that's the provisional results for the boys in the 19 team competition. Fiona Everard. Well, well clear here. She's at the nearly at the bottom of the course. She look up to her right and she see a couple of loops still to go for Laura Buckley in second place. And then Kate McDonald clear of Lucy Holmes in three and four. Trim ACs Adele Gaffney now looks to have moved into fifth. Just oh, yeah. Like going back and forth. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, that's great. Thanks. This was actually trying to get her anyway. <laughs> yeah. And then Claire Rafter leads a big contingent from Dublin City Harriers. So Fiona Everard, easily 100 metres, if not more, clear. Been a real dominant display. So the Bandon AC athlete, keeping it local here. So halfway up that hill now. So a few metres before she swings left. 70 or 80 metres before she swings left, or swings right, and then that long uphill into the finish. But it's a massive lead for Fiona Everard. So our leader absolutely gliding across this ground. Makes it look as though it's really firm ground. Full of running, Fiona Everard from Bandon AC. Looks as though she's about 200 metres clear. So great run there for Fiona Everard. So no doubt we saw her run so well up in Rossapan in the top 10. The National Seniors taking this novice title in 1406. And then Kate McDonald, a great run in second place from Barry Rowan Abbey Leakston District. Laura Buckley in third place. She's given her absolutely everything here. But she's going to come home in third from Lucy Holmes, the 20 year old. From West Waterford. Then Adele Gaffney from Trim AC. And 
And Lucy Holmes trying to get back at Laura Buckley, but it doesn't look as though she's just done it. Laura just looks to have held on there. And then Claire Rafter comes through from Dublin City Harriers. Then Roisin Holy from Kilmurray, Elbricken. But Aoife Coffey just gets the better of her. So we just have the ambulance at the finish here, please. So well done, Mairead Hogan from Dunboyne. Gets herself across the line. Athletes streaming up this finish area. So we're about to make the presentation now for the 123.e Athletics Ireland Novice Cross Country Championships. In third place, Laura Buckley of Dunboyne Athletic Club. In second place, representing Ballyroan, Abbey Leaks and District, Kate MacDonald. And the 2022 123.ie Novice Women's Cross Country Champion, Fiona Everard of Bandon Athletic Club in Cork. So he's currently a member, also a member of NUIG. So making the presentation there, Kevin Thompson, CEO of RSA and 123.ie. So 123.ie are a new sponsor of Athletics Ireland, and they'll be taking us all the way to the Paris Olympics. Perfect. So Fiona Everard, one, two, three, dot a national novice champion. How does that feel? Yeah, really good. Um, I'm just glad it's kind of over now. I think it was quite muddy, um, but it was just 4K. So I think, yeah, it went well anyway. I'm happy with it. I'm really happy with how the race transpired. Yeah, 
I was. That was kind of the plan to just see how the pace went for the first 2k. And then if I felt comfortable, just go for it. And yeah, I felt pretty settled in. I definitely didn't take it for granted. I knew they were good girls in it. So I was just going to see how the kind of pace went, how they were going to take it. And yeah, once I felt good, I just wanted to go hard and make a race out of it then for myself. And you must have been confident going into the race after the top 10 finish uh, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, it definitely helped. I still... I knew I didn't, I wasn't guaranteed a win or anything, so I just wanted to put myself in contention for it. But yeah, it definitely helped coming off Donegal. I wanted another race just to, I think, finish out the season a bit more um, and see what kind of I could do after that. So yeah, happy with it. So you're done now for the year, your season is over. Perfect. That's me finish now for Christmas, so glad to finish it in Cork. Congratulations, Fiona. Thanks, Thank you. Okay, well done, Fiona Ever, the 123.ie Irish novice, women's cross country champion. So don't forget to be plenty of video clips and results available on the Athletics Ireland website and social media pages later on this evening. So we've one more race to go, the Novice Men's Race. So we'll confirm the team result of the Novice Women's Race very shortly. We've still a few competitors out in the course. Give them plenty of encouragement as they come in. So just before we begin our last event, a big thank you to everybody who helped out here today, all the athletes who took part. So a huge voluntary effort there by the host club, St. Catherine's Athletic Club. Also a big thank you to Frank Hayes and his family for allowing us to use his lands for today's championships. Anybody looking for results, there's results going live to myronresults.com and all the results will be posted on the Athletics Ireland website later on this evening. So and the winner of the Novice Women's Race there, Fiona Everett of... Bandon Athletic Club was just interviewed there by John Cashman. So there'll be a live report there on C103 FM this evening in Cork.
Our final event of the day, the men's novice 6,000 metres. So three laps. So a great day. Thanks to St. Catharines AC for hosting us at the 123.ie National Uneven and Novice Championships. A really tough but good course. So well done to everybody. So the field comes streaming through. So Paul Hartnett leads them out from East Cork. So well up, he was about seven, that's say, in the under 23s a couple of weeks ago. Carl O'Reilly from Kilkenny City Harriers. So great to see a huge field here in this men's novice. So Paul Harney right in the center. Dylan Casey right there as well. So just to quickly give you the provisional team results for the 123.ie Novice Women's Cross Country. In the inter-county competition, third county Cork with 109 points, second were Meath with 85 points, and the winning county was Dublin with 34 points. In the inter-club competition, third place Clanliff Harriers with 109 points, Rohini Shamrocks were second with 100 points, and the winners were Dublin City Harriers with 68 points. So they're provisional results of the Novice Women. So it's East Cork 1 and 2 here in the early stages. Fiona Everard from Bandon winning the Novice Women's. That's it, William. So they head down the hill, a really good pace being set here. So they swing right at the bottom of the course. All the way across and then down to the bottom and back up. Carl O'Reilly from the Kenny City Harriers in that leading group as well. But a big, big group there. So the leaders start the ascent for the first of three times. And it's still East Cork, one and two.
And then just tucked in beside them, Cahill O'Reilly from Kilkenny City Harriers. So Carl O'Reilly and Paul Hartnett. Oshin Toy from Finn Valley. Dylan Casey. Finney Connolly just off the back of that group. So we see Irish Olympian Paul O'Donovan in the middle of this field making his way up that hill. So trying to get on a scoring Leavale team, but very strong teams here. And East Cork leading them out. Mullingar well in the mix also. Two of their athletes in the top eight or nine. Jack Moran right in that leading group from Mullingar Harriers. So they come down the hill for the second time. <coughs> and it's still Paul Hartnett, Cahill O'Reilly, Frank O'Brien from East Cork, Jack O'Leary, Vinnie Connolly, Dylan Casey. So the swing back up the hill, Paul Hartnett from Cahill O'Reilly, from Frank O'Brien. Jack O'Le... Or... Finney Connolly. Oshin Toy just at the back of that group. John Durkin from Tohar also in that group. Well, the club competition looks unbelievably close here as Frank O'Brien is pushing it on. Paul Hartnett, the two of them in that group. Carl O'Reilly. Jack Moran from Mullingar Harriers. Then Vinnie Connolly, Mullingar Harriers. Dylan Casey, Ennis Track. Jack Durkin, Tohar. So the athletes nearly at the bottom of the course. Loads of athletes still coming through the gap into the second field. So this whole second field nearly full of athletes. But it's Paul Hartnett from Carl O'Reilly, Jack Moran, and then Frank O'Brien. 
And then Vinnie Connolly. So two Mullingar Harriers, two East Cork there. Then Dylan Casey. Then Jack Durkin from Toher. Then Oshin Toy from Finn Valley. So they start to come up the hill for the second time. And Paul Hartner continues to push it on. Carl O'Reilly, five metres behind him. Jack Bourne, another five behind him. So it's East Cork from Kilkenny City Harriers, Mullingar Harriers. And it looks like maybe Vinnie Connolly from Mullingar Harriers in fourth. And Paul Harton is beginning to pull really well clear here. This has been a brilliant hill for him. He's maybe 25, 30 metres clear. He showed his potential in Rossapena two weeks ago. Great run there. Different terrain. This terrain looks to be suiting him really nicely. So he comes up this hill. He's going to get the bell this time. He's absolutely flying. He looks so easy. He looks so comfortable. No grimace, no nothing in that face. Paul Hartnett from East Cork. And then Jack Moran, Carl O'Reilly and Frank O'Brien. And then Vinnie Connolly. So two Mullingar Harriers, two East Cork, Kilkenny City Harriers. And then Dylan Casey, followed by Jack Durkin. And then Philip Marin from Rathout. So our leaders go across the top of the course, down the back. Athletes still coming up. Paula Donovan from Leeville heads up that hill. Will he be on a winning team at Leeville? But plenty of others well in contention here. Mullingar Harriers definitely going well. East Cork going unbelievably well. They're first and second in this with Paul Hartnett and Frank O'Brien. Jack Moore and then in third place for Mullingar Harriers, Carl O'Reilly four. But Paul Hartnett is absolutely flying. He heads into the bottom field. He's got 80, 90 metres over his club mate, Frank O'Brien. Jack Moore and then Mullingar Harriers about 10, 15 metres behind him. Five metres to Carl O'Reilly then. Then Vinnie Connolly from Mullingar Harriers about another 25 metres behind him. Then we've got Jack Durkin, then Dylan Casey, the tour and Ennis track athletes, Philip Marin then from Rathout. And then Abbas Adam Edris from Castlegar. But Paul Hartnett comes back up the centre of this lower field. He's waiting for the others to turn that corner. Frank O'Brien working hard in second place, but Paul Hartnett, this has been a master class. We saw Fiona Everett absolutely obliterate the novice women's field. And Paul Hartnett is doing this. His club mate, Frank O'Brien, is about 20 metres clear of Jack Bourne. A great comeback season for Jack Bourne from Mullingar Harriers. But Carl O'Reilly isn't too far behind him either. Vinnie Connolly, the Leinster novice champion, trying to get himself back in contention. He's taken the longer way around, but the better ground. Dylan Casey, 
then from Ennis Track, followed by Jack Durkin from Toher. And then I was Adam Edris from Castlegar from Philip Marin. Good stuff. Good stuff. Gavin Eccles from Rohini Shamrock. From Shane Spring, Rohini Shamrock. And Sean Carter from Crockwell. But Paul Harner comes back towards us here, back into the centre of this bottom field. Frank O'Brien now heads down the hill as well. And then Carl O'Reilly's now overtaken Jack Moran in third place and he's moved five, six metres clear of him. Vinnie Connolly's going pretty well in fifth place as well. Expect him to be right in contention. He looks to be going the best of the three of them at the minute. But Paul Harnett and Frank O'Brien are going to take, it looks like, gold and silver back to East Cork. So we see Paul Harnett nearly at the bottom of the course. He goes across, he'll swing left down to the very corner. And then that long, long run for home. He looks superb, but it's bound to be hurting. Frank O'Brien now crosses probably 100 metres behind his club mate. And he's got about 60 metres to Carl O'Reilly. He's got a 10 to Jack Moran, who's got about 15 to 20 to his club mate, Vinnie Connolly from Mullingar Harriers. And then we have Dylan Casey from Ennis Track. Saw his club mate, Niall Murphy, take the under-19 title earlier. But now it's the long run uphill for Paul Hartnett. But he can enjoy it. It's going to be a tough hill, but going to be an enjoyable one. There is no way he is going to lose this novice title. So our leader... Is well up this hill. He's about 250, 300 to go. He's going to swing left, then he swings right. So our leader is going to come into view now, Paul Hardner from East Cork. He stayed with him with the first. 1,500 metres and then he moved on and he just kept pushing and pushing and he looks as though he could go around and do another lap. Faller running, Paul Hartner from East Cork. He's going to take this man's 6,000 metres novice 123.ie Irish Championship and he's going to be followed home by Frank O'Brien, his club mate. Also from East Cork. Carl O'Reilly looks over his shoulder. He sees Jack Moran coming into view, but he looks again. He's got enough. He looks as though he's going to be safe in third place. Good to see him back running well, part of that Irish team who won the silver medal at the European Junior Championships last year. Jack Moran, a great run in fourth place. Vinnie Connolly, also Mullingar Harriers in five. Dylan Casey, six. And then Philip Marin having a great battle with Jack Durkin from Tohar, but the rat old man looks as though he's finishing the strongest here. And then Abbas Adam Edris. And he's followed home then by Gavin Eccles from Rohini Shamrock and his club mate Shane Spring. So great days, athletics here in Cork, hosted by St. Catharines. We're still waiting to see Paul O'Donovan from Leavale come up. Great to have an Olympic champion tug out and race in the county championships for his club and in the national championships as the athletes stream through here. So Mullingar. Look to maybe have four or five of their athletes in. 
Crockwell and Rahini Shamrock look to have a good few of theirs in as well. Mullingar Harriers well up there. East Cork have four or five in at this stage as well. So just over 21 minutes on the clock. So what a really tough finish at the end of a 6,000 metres. And here comes Paul O'Donovan now, 21.56 for his 6,000 metres. So athletes still all the way around the third lap of this course. So we're just about to make our final medal presentation of the day. That's for the 123.ie National Novice Mins Cross Country Race. In third place, Cahill O'Reilly of Kilkenny City Harriers. In second place, Frank O'Brien of East Cork Athletic Club and the 2022 123.ie Novice Mints Cross Country Champion, Paul Hartnett of East Cork. So a home victory there, the owner of the lands, Frank Hayes, is a proud member of East Cork Athletic Club. So making the presentation was Kevin Thompson, CEO of RSA and 123.ie, sponsoring Irish Athletics all the way to the Paris Olympics. So Oscar Smitty, I think it might be Nina Olympic. We have a mobile phone here, you can collect it at the finishing line. Oscar Smitty. Oh, yes. Yep. So novice women's team presentation taking place now. So that's DCH taking that title. So making the presentation for the Novice Women's Interclub inter title there is John Cronin, President of Athletics Ireland. Scream as well, I believe so. Okay. So Paul Hartnett, one, two, three, dot a national novice, cross country champion. How does that feel? Uh, yeah, it feels very good. Uh, for, I was four last year, so come back again here and get the win this year is very satisfying. 
And uh, how did you find the race? How did you find the race in general? Um, yeah, it was good. It, it went out fast enough. Um, I suppose the pace was kind of changing a bit. It was um, a, a lot of twists and turns. Um, and been mucky as well. So it was a good mix of everything. Yeah, it was, um, it was good, yeah. And the course also went tough then as well? Uh, uh, yeah, especially coming up uh, along the far side there, there was a few uh, heavy mucky patches. But um, yeah, it was, it was enjoyable. <laughs> Lovely, and you had a great top 20 finish in Donegal, so that must have given you confidence coming into this week. Uh, yeah, definitely, um, especially senior, you know, it's 10k, so um, to, to run well there, coming in here, you know, 6k, uh, shorter but a bit faster, um, yeah, it was nice to carry the momentum through, and yeah, it was, um, yeah. Perfect, and is that you done now for the year? Uh, yeah, probably, yeah, uh, I'll see, done with cross country anyway, most likely, and um, yeah, probably just see how it goes from here. Congratulations, Paul. So well done there. So Paul Hartnett of East Cork. 123.ie novice mince cross country champion for 2022. So very shortly there we'll have the team result for the mince race. So still a few athletes out in the course. Once again a huge thank you to our host club, St. Catherine's Athletic Club. So there's some good results there in the juveniles. So good results there in the scene the novice races. So some members of St. Catherine's Club also took part in the Novice Mins race, just crossing the line there. Corkathletics.org, anyway, you'll track him there. Yeah. 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 Yeah.